and the burden of student debt is being lifted by President Biden, members of Congress who support it, and it is right. We ask the United States Supreme Court to believe in the certain inalienable rights. So we can let an unelected body try to take away relief for our families that are struggling every single day, and the pandemic made it worse for them. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, student loan borrowers have had a moratorium on their payments. The pause on federal loans has lasted over three years, but now over 40 million Americans may be hit with a bill some borrowers have never even seen. So for years, advocates and borrowers have been pressuring the, the government to act on student loan forgiveness, saying that the student loan system was broken. Outstanding student loan debt is marching towards $2 trillion. You have over one in 10 borrowers in delinquency or default, and a number of other issues with the lending system. House GOP to ballot on nullifying student debt aid this week. Republicans are projecting to produce a bill reversing student debt support to the House representatives for a ballot this week. The White House reported on a Monday declaration that Biden will sanction the bill if it gets to the Oval Office. While the bill could go through the GOP organized House, it has a complicated pathway before the Senate. House Republicans filing to vote this week to reverse Biden's student finance clemency, and as projected, the White House is prepared to scrap that bill. During the beginning of May, the House Education Board balloted to endorse a decree that would hinder and stop Biden's proposal to abandon up to $20,000 in student debt for federal debtors, along with instantaneously terminating the continuing student loan reimbursement break. First introduced in March by GOP Representative Bob Good, the declaration utilized the Congressional Review Act, which is a lapse instrument lawmakers can procure to reverse the ultimate guidelines stipulated by administration organizations. A faction of Republican senators also initiated a similar description of the bill, and the House is estimated to vote on the statute this Wednesday. School graduates getting tens of thousands of dollars. So what the Supreme Court examined at the end of February are two major things. One, have the plaintiffs here actually proven that they've been harmed by student loan forgiveness? In order to challenge a policy in the courts, you need to prove that a policy has caused you injury. It's called legal standing. Do you have legal standing? The Supreme Court justices considered if the plaintiffs had proven that they will be harmed by student loan forgiveness. The other point that the Supreme Court was considering at the end of February is, does the president acting within his rights in forgiving this amount of student debt? While the Biden administration points to the HEROES Act as justification. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.